Smoke it! I smell smoke it! Alright, so in one of the previous videos you might have seen, uh, <clears throat> I was doing the injector test. Uh, we decided to do a, a uh, smoke uh, test uh, from with my, my friend Bruce, and so one of the commenters in the video said, hey, it'd be cool to make a video of the making the smoke machine. So Bruce was nice enough to put all the parts together and put them in a box and said, here you go, make the video. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. <clears throat> so this is 4-inch PVC pipe. Uh, it is 4-inch uh, Schedule 40. Uh, you don't necessarily need this much. I may cut it down a little bit, but you have a domed cap for the top. I'll put a, I have a flat cap for the bottom. Uh, just just the eye bolt and a carabiner if you need to hang it. Some, uh, I think this is a quarter inch uh, hose. This is what you plug into the brake booster or wherever you want to plug into. Have some, uh, uh, some, uh, let's see, what is this? This is a quarter inch to three eighths inch MIP. Uh, this is a, just a, this is the inlet to the regulator. This is just your your uh, quick disconnect for your uh, compressor. Teflon tape. I have some leftover RTV. Another quarter inch hose barb, quarter inch MIP. Some rubber washers. Some hose clamps. Some some more clear hose going from the regulator into the uh, the pipe. We have some self tapping screws. Another uh, regulator outlet. This is also a, let's see here, quarter inch to three eighths inch, quarter inch uh, ID to three eighths inch MIP. This is our little dimmer switch. This controls the voltage going into the uh, the the wire. Which uh, here we have some uh, this power wire going in the, uh, into into the uh, smoke machine and it will clamp on the battery with these little hose uh, uh, wire clamps or battery clamps. We have some wire which will wrap around this wick material which will be in there with the mineral oil and all you have to do is just this is just basically mineral oil that all you need and this will go in there and it'll power up and this will heat up and turn the mineral oil in, or start turning into smoke. Have a 10 amp a fuse and a 1 psi uh, regulator which you might find on a uh, propane tank. Alright so I've, I've cut this down a little bit and what I'm going to go ahead and do is some of the simple stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this cap on here and screw it in so that it won't, uh, won't can't come off. I'll put some silicone around it and uh, I'm also going to put these uh, MPT fittings in the uh, regulator and I'm going to put uh, the, the hook or the carabiner in the top so it'll have something to hang on. So. Alright so I put this on and I drilled the hole out um, just to the point where the, you know, I actually had to thread the, uh, the hook uh, into the plastic and put a little uh, RTV on there and put the nuts on there and tighten it down and I've got uh, both the fittings use a little Teflon tape on both of these and before I put the cap on the bottom of this what I need to do is uh, set the wick up and drill the holes for these uh, screws for the for the wick to make sure that I've got it uh, hanging down far enough. Uh, take the wire, wrap it around the wick and then locate where I need to put these screws. So. Alright so I've got the, the wick and everything done and put in so I just drilled some holes and uh, uh, just un small enough so I could still thread it through and all I did was wrap the, the wire around the wick and it's just as you can see it's not really a exact science I just kind of eyeballed it and uh, as long as the wick is hanging out of the end then we can put the cap on the bottom and uh, now we can I'm going to put the cap on, like I said, so we know that we've got room for the, the wick to soak up the mineral oil. Alright, so I got the, uh, the little regulator on there and it's just a 12 volt 
uh, regulator and just drilled some holes and uh, used some silicone on the screws so that they don't leak and I also added this is these are just quarter inch NPT by quarter inch hose barbs on both sides in and out and I used a 15 16 drill bit which is kind of undersized so they just screwed in and you had to use a wrench to put them on and uh, I know it's not easy to see down in there but uh, let's see here eh, you kind of get the point so just one's in and one's out and there's the uh, as we look at it so far all right so as you can see just is the end result so this is the um, little dimmer switch and I have my regulator just kind of hanging just kind of hanging off the, the the top there the eye hook and um, a carabiner to hang it off something if I need to and you got the the hose coming out and this is just the the uh, hose from the regulator into the into the smoker and just the the wires from uh, wires from the battery terminals into the dimmer and then out and so it's just pretty much as is uh pretty much as simple as that so not much to it so anybody can do it oh yeah and here is my uh, little uh this is a 38 inch plug for for refilling if i need it so good luck